who this reading is for Leo for the month of November, year 2023. Please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. This is a general reading. Allah, please continue to surround Leo with 200 angels to stand, guard, guide, and protect. Allah, please continue to send me 200 angels to stand, guard, guide, and protect me as I open this portal. I do not partner you with my divination, but I ask of you to guide me through so that my readings are truthful, accurate, and honest. I'm hearing for the single Leos. You have the wheel of fortune, okay? So for the single Leos, there's going to be... Uh, there's going to be cycles and changing in your life, okay? Great cycles, okay? For some of you single Leos, there's going to be a new phase in your life. What's this new phase, Allah? You're moving to calmer waters, okay? You're moving to calmer waters. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, something was released. The Four of Pentacles, something was released. There's nothing holding you back, okay? It's like I'm picking up the energy out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> like that Pandora's box been open and you fought to close that damn box. This is the past that you closed out. So there's nothing holding you back. The Four of Pentacles is in reverse. You have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? And you have the Six of Swords. So you're moving to Karma Waters. Here you are, the Queen of Wands. You're working, damn right. Eight of Pentacles. You're putting in that work, you're mastering that craft. This is for the single Leos. So Allah confirmed the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Swords. What was released? What was released with the Four of Pentacles in reverse for Leo? A bad husband a bad partner was released gone gone so that's why i heard you said the pandora box is closed it was open and it closed you closed that pandora box you had a fight to close that pandora box okay and as you're fighting to close that pandora box and you're watching tarot they keep opening up that that pandora's box you closed it they open it so you're starting to um look outside of tarot on youtube okay you're 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 starting to do tarot yourself oh and and that's a beautiful thing because that helps you grow that helps you master your craft some of you are very smart intuitive like I said, you could be in school. You're going to graduate if you are. You're at the, at the top of your class at that. So there's some single um, Leos that is putting in work. You're mastering your craft, okay? And it falls back over there. Yeah, you feel as though that... Uh, closing that Pandora box was the best thing. That was the best thing. You don't want you don't want nothing to do with that past energy. Yes, you're focused on your angels. You want your angels to continue to carry you forward. Um, I'm picking up that that's Archangel Raphael. So Archangel Raphael, um, please come through. Archangel Raphael is the archangel that brings the kingdom spouse. Okay? This angel is giving you another chance. This is part of your self-love for the single Leos. Archangel is Allah's, how can I say this, right-hand angel that will settle conflicts will help your healing process and instead of you searching for a partner god commands archangel raphael to bring your partner forward okay so some of you are patient and you're cautious so god 
has sent in your appointed angels, which could be Archangel Michael, um, Archangel Raphael, okay, whatever angel you work with, but always remember that Archangel Raphael plays a big part. Don't forget, okay? You have another chance for you because you're putting in the work and you're mastering yourself, okay? You are giving yourself another chance to be you, to create, to love you. You're focused on success. So Allah, show me this angel that is helping Leo build and master oneself with the eight of pentacles. Leos are having another chance with themselves to focus on the love that you have for you and the results. Pay attention. You're going, you went through a death, a rebirth. You could be going through a, an ascension. Okay. But there's an ending. You had a vision. You had a vision of the, te the two of cups. You are an emperor or an empress. So you're not rushing. You want somebody that comes straight from God. Okay? You're not doing things your own way anymore. No, you're being hella patient because you see the truth, you know the truth, you spoke the truth, you live the truth now. And nobody can take that away from you. So you see the truth now in relationships, okay? You see the truth of what makes you happy. Your angels is working with you to build up yourself to your self-love. You're mastering yourself as you are single, okay? And you have this blessing here. That's your come up. That's your gift from God is this new life, all right? Because people cross the line with you. This emperor here who they keep pulling out. You understand? Let me tell you something about tarot. And I've been doing this, damn, before. When I was doing this since I was 10 with the cards. But as a child, I was reading people auras, okay? And there's one thing I learned out of all these years, okay? I started reading people when I was about six or seven years old. I used to give the winning numbers to my father. I used to have to be brought in the hospital room before someone passes away. I said this before, and I will see what was around the individual that's passing, and I will let them know if they're going up or down. So I've been doing this for a long time. When you have a group of tarot readers consistently putting something out there. Now, mind you, we have to respect timelines. Everybody's on a different timeline. And we can't be self-centered or ignorant about that. But if you keep opening up that damn Pandora's box, the energy is going to keep reoccurring. So the Leos that I am picking up, the energy that you have put away keeps resurfacing because it keeps being brought out. It keeps being talked about. It's, it keeps being shown. Because I don't want this in my readings. So I put it aside and leave your past person over there. I will mention some things about it, but I'm not going to sit here and dwell on, oh, he misses you, he loves you, he wants you back. Because that's a psychological effect on the viewer. That makes you not want to look towards the future. That makes you want to keep looking back. So this is why I'm so focused on you. Yeah, the past is right there because that's the box that keeps getting opened up and you keep closing it. So I'm going to keep it closed. So you're no longer doing things your way. You're thinking clearly and seeing clearly on the things that makes you happy. So this is why some of you Leos are still single because you're, you're, you actually love the peace. You love to do whatever it is that you want to do to make you happy. Okay. 
and you're no longer rushing into anything. <laughs> That's why my way is my way is in reverse. You know that God has control over everything. Okay? Look at that. You got so much self-love. You have self-love, okay? You're working on you. You're working on your self-love. And nobody can take that. All right? So we got the family here and we got the three of swords. This is affliction and pain for some from some family members, okay? You don't drink. There's a Leo here that don't drink. Nope, the, the drinking glass is in reverse. Yes, there were some karmic family members, okay? That could also have been the pain that you had endured, okay? With that Pandora's box that you had closed. But there was some karmic-ass family members here that was trying to inflict some pain on you. Targeting you. Ten of Pentacles is investments, okay? The Ten of Somebody was dishonest in this Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, like I said, it could be investments. Somebody could have been um, dishonest in investments, or it could be a group of people. It could be family because the Ten of Pentacles is a group on the card, all right? But I made the card with someone facing themselves, with the person facing themselves, okay? So somebody has to hold some accountability, okay? Somebody could be bisexual, they could be gay, could be transgender, it doesn't matter, okay? That's your connection with God, and I don't feel like people should judge other people because of this, all right? So that's your connection. Arguments, fighting, so there could be a single Leo that is gay or bisexual or transgender and was arguing with family about their choice of being who they are. And I want to express this. People don't understand transgenders. Let me tell you, sometimes your past, your past life, it affects this present time. So if you are a man, okay, and you feel feminine. Maybe in your past life, you was a woman. And God brought you back in this life as a man. Vice versa. Sometimes a woman is masculine. Because in their past life, they were masculine. They were a man. And they came back in this body as a woman. They don't feel comfortable in that body. Okay? Or they don't feel comfortable being with the opposite sex. They're comfortable with the same sex. All right? Who are we to take the place of Allah and cause judgment? Allah is merciful and forgiving. Yes, it is forgiven. It's forbidden. But God is merciful and God is forgiven. Okay? So we can't judge. When this card comes out, we cannot judge. We can't. So there was arguments among a karmic family upon someone's sexual preference here. Somebody wants someone to live one way and they want to live another. They're feeling like, and I don't, I don't know who the hell this is for. It, the, the energy just shifted. But whoever you are, okay, and you are bisexual or transgender, okay? That's between you and God. Nobody can judge you. And if they try to judge you, then they're punished. Judge not or be judged. So we got to be careful. There's a tower here. And this is with the karmic family that basically was coming after a Leo, a fellow Leo, because of their sexual preference. So someone loves the sound of this because education is the key to success. We got this emperor here, somebody that's domineering, a bully, somebody that's narrow-minded, 
somebody that tries to use dominance and aggressiveness. That's a narcissistic abuser, okay? That's a narcissistic abuser here. So there's someone here that needed to hear this. You're fine. Still continue to pray to God. Still continue to give your life to God, okay? No matter what your sexual preference is. I don't want perfect. I want honest, okay? So there's a Leo that's out there that completely says, screw this family. <laughs> screw this family. This Leo is going to stop letting people who do so little for you control so much of your mind, feelings, and emotion. These people did nothing for you but judged you, okay? So there's rewards here for you because you remain strong. You remain close to God. Okay, no matter what your sexual preference is. What's the rewards for this Leo that took over this reading? Yep, stalking, spying, watching, okay? So, there was a cycle period where this Leo was watching me, all right? I didn't know. I didn't know, but this Leo sure did come forth today. Just took over their reading. No, this Leo that I'm pulling up is not on drugs, okay? Is not, no addict, doesn't even drink. You go ahead, Leo. Don't drink. No, don't do drugs. People thought that this Leo shot their angels down. No, they did not. That was lies being told on this Leo. If you want to be trusted, be honest. This Leo was being honest, but the liars was turning the words around, okay? So this Leo took over the reading. You have a cycle, a new cycle, okay? Why is the world card here? Why is the moon here with the world card? You didn't, this Leo was looking for this out in the world. Look at that. You have stalking, watching, trying to find information here. Trying to find out what their life is going to be. Baby, you are free. Whoever you are, you are free. You are free from judgmental people in this karmic family. Okay? And if you notice, God removed you from them. God is removing the people who judge you out of your life. So you could focus on your passions. You are high vibrational. You are smart and intuitive. Okay. You have high charisma. Anything you accomplish. Anything you start you accomplish with this sun. Your focus on success. You have good luck. Baby mama in reverse, no kids. This is someone that doesn't have any children. Honey, you got heaven here watching over you. I don't care if other people don't like this reading. Someone had to hear this. You still have heaven in your life. God is merciful upon those who worship him. God is forgiven and merciful. Even though in the Bible, it said in the Bible and the Quran, you know, that's a hellfire. But we live in this world full of hellfires. What you choose to do with your life is your life. You understand? And you're not letting no one control you. See, that's all what it is. People try to control other people with, the, with their own point of views, not having respect for the body, the, the beholder. So I have respect for you. Okay, I'm not judgmental, but you're questioning, does God love you? Heaven is here. And the devil is in reverse. Thank you, Allah, whoever needed that. Whoever needed to hear that. 
This Leo took over the reading. <sighs> this Leo took over the reading, okay? This single Leo took over the reading. So continue to work on you. You don't drink, you don't do any drugs. This karmic family member who was basically coming at you, arguing with you because of what you chose in your life and other people at that, not only just uh, a karmic family member, but other people that was judging you, they're going to need you. They're going to need you. Wow, that Leo just took over the reading. Okay, I'm going to have to do another one, but... I hope that helped whoever this was for because that just took over. All right. Bye.